Hey y'all, good morning. <clears throat> Happy Monday. So I went into Walmart for just a few things after my training. And why I walk out with like $200 worth of stuff. <laughs> Mommy, I don't know what the heck that was, but <laughs> something from my phone, who knows. Anyway, happy Monday. I'm getting ready to head home um, so I can make it back there before it's time for Chloe to go to school. I had training this morning. Um, so yeah, after, probably after Chloe goes to school, I'll show y'all what I picked up from Walmart because it's not groceries. Like, it's all the expensive stuff that I needed, but also some more. So I'll show y'all what I picked up. Hey y'all, so we're going to do a real quick grocery haul. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my dishwasher is running, so sorry. Anyway, first up got the sodas these are coke spice zero sugar and it's supposed to be raspberry spice which i thought was interesting i wish they had like a smaller pack they might have but i didn't really look around for them but these sounded interesting so i got them these are the zero sugar ones but they do have the regular ones too also got these these are the viva paper towels but the like cloths um so like you pull one out so I got these for my upstairs bathroom. I actually picked up paper towels and toilet paper too, but that's back there. I'm not going to go get it. Had to get some more big trash bags. Picked up these post-it notes. I didn't know which size I wanted, so I just went ahead and got both of them. I'm sure I'll find a use for them. I'm always using stationery. <laughs> I picked up... A hand soap refill. This is the cherry blossom scent, which I like. I have tried this one before. Also randomly saw this, so I picked this up. This is the Sparkling Ice Starburst Cherry, and I just thought it was interesting. I only picked up one. Uh, if you've never tried the Sparkling Ice, they're generally small amounts of calories. So this one says five calories, zero sugar, zero carbs. Um, yeah, caffeine. This one is caffeine free. Some of them do have caffeine though. Um, but I just wanted to try it, so I only picked up one. Then, this is where all the money got spent, y'all. Ridiculous. So, we needed some hand soap in a couple of our bathrooms. So, I picked this one up. And I know I got the big thing of hand soap, but all, I don't use, like, reusable ones in my kids' bathrooms or any bathrooms that they really use a lot because those are typically glass and they are clumsy. So, I got this one. This is <clears throat> from Safeguard, and it's Peach. And I think I smell this one at store. Oh yeah, that smells really good. So I got this one. Also picked up this one for my husband. This is the Fresh Clean scent, also from Safeguard. And I picked up this one too for another bathroom and this is Coconut, same Safeguard. And then also needed some hair stuff. So I got this one for Chloe. She had been using, this is a leave-in um, conditioner from Aunt Jackie's. This is the Quench. She's never used this one, but she has used other ones from Aunt Jackie that I like. And currently she is using the Shea Moisture Curl Milk. She's almost out of it though. So I decided to try something different. Um, but you know, if it doesn't work, I'll go back to the Curl Milk. And then 
I saw this um, 808 base gel, which is from the brand The Do. I do like their products. And I was reading the back of this and they suggested that you use this like as your first product. So this is a base gel, meaning like after you get out of the, or after you wash your hair, don't put anything in your hair. Just go in with this. It's supposed to be moisturizing. And then on top of it, you can apply their foam if you want. I was also happy to see they have the foam in small packaging because I usually, whenever I go on like beach vacations, a lot of times I'll do wash and goes with their mousse because to me it's quicker to dry, but it's a big container. So I'm glad they had like the small container of the mousse. I didn't buy any because I'm not going anywhere right now, but um, I did want to try this. So we'll see how it goes. I've been kind of backing away from the wash and goes. I mean, I used to do them all the time. Now I just, you know, try to switch it up. But um, I might try this because I'm almost out of my current wash and go gel. Um, so I also picked this up. This is Billy. And if you don't, if you never heard of Billy, they make like razors, um, but they're starting to branch out. So they, now they have body wash. And this is the creamy vanilla cedar scent. It's supposed to be a hydrating body wash. So I like the packaging. I like the smell. So we'll try it. And then I'm also out of like my shaving cream or my shaving like gel that I was using. So I picked this up. It's a shaving oil from Tree Hut. So I'm going to try this. Hopefully it works well. My legs are pretty sensitive. Um, so when I shave, if I don't use like the right stuff, they will itch. But I feel like I'm kind of getting a little bit desensitized lately. So I'm going to try this and see if it works. I think what's more important is what I put on after I shave. So I think this will be good. So yeah, and it smells really good. Very refreshing. Then I needed deodorant, which was also like where I spent too much money because I got three, right? <laughs> Y'all know how much deodorant costs. Um, so first up, I needed a regular deodorant and this is the Dove Even Tone. So I've never tried this Even Tone one with niacinamide, but I've used these Dove sprays for off and on for years. But this is the Peach Blossom and Rice Milk. So I got this one because I knew this would be like, this would hold me down. However, I wanted to try some different stuff too. So I wanted to try uh, Aluminum Free. And there was a time where I tried natural deodorants. They didn't work for me though, y'all. I can't, I can't be walking around here smelling myself. <laughs> maybe TMI but it's been a while so I was like let me try this because maybe I could wear this like at night um because if I don't know if you guys even care about this but I am typically a two shower a day person so I usually take a shower before I get in the bed and then I take a shower in the morning um so I figure like at night I'm not really sweating at night so maybe when I put on deodorant at night maybe I'll try this and then go from there maybe I can eventually move into um no aluminum deodorants but yeah I can't be stinking okay and then I also picked this up. This is new from Shea Moisture and it is like an all over deodorant. And they had this in different uh, formulations. So I decided to pick up the stick because I felt like that would be easier. But they also have the cream. So I think they're trying to compete with Lumi, which I know if you watch YouTube, you've heard of Lumi. Um, so I picked this one up to try. I don't think I'm going to wear this under my arms, but it's going to be hot soon, y'all. It's going to be hot. I got big thighs. They rub together. <laughs> This is a lot in this video. But anyway, so I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'll put this between my thighs when I'm wearing um, like jeans or if I'm wearing um, dresses because I don't always wear like shorts or shapewear under my dress. Um, so yeah, I'll put this on my legs, I'm thinking, or possibly like also when I work out, like um, a lot of times like my back and stuff sweats or my stomach and so maybe I might try this and again this is also aluminum based as well so I'm not sure how this is gonna work but we are gonna try it okay I like Shea Moisture so there's that that was the bulk of the money I spent and then last minute I picked up a couple of shirts <laughs> so I picked up this shirt this was like four dollars you know when you headed to the checkout you just be seeing random stuff grabbing it so I picked this up. I like the color of it. So I was like, oh, I can try it. It's like $4. I got it in a size large and I, um, we'll see. It looks a little bit fitted. So hopefully this works, but that's why I got a size large. But then next to it, they also had these rib shirts and I really wanted to try them. So I got one of like each kind. So this is ribbed and it's like this stretchy material. It looks high quality. I mean, it was only $5, but it looks like it's high quality. So we'll see. So I got a V-neck one, and again, I got this in a size large. And I think these are junior sizes. I think that's why they look so big, or it looks so small for each size. 
Um, but then they also had the like tank top version of it. So I picked this up in a size large shoe. And again, it's the same material. It's thick. Um, but we'll see how it works. I think this is going to work well. Hopefully they fit me right. I didn't have time to try them on or anything. Not that I would have anyway if I had a time. So yeah, that's my Walmart haul. 200, almost $200 later. Um, I did pick up like just a couple of like food items, but I mean, they're not. I bought these. I bought these for Chloe. Sugar wafers, what we call them and um some waffles that i put away already but yeah for the most part this was all like the expensive stuff that i don't like to buy from Publix because I, I knew i needed toilet toilet paper uh and like paper towels and hand soap and stuff and i don't like buying that stuff from my grocery store because to me it's just not enough selection and there it seemed like they're way more expensive when it comes to that so anyway long story long I am getting ready to go to an appointment. So let me put this stuff away real quick and I'll see y'all later. Set of the day is Celine black tie. Bag of the day is my YSL West Hollywood, which gives me, I ain't new to this, I'm true to this vibes, okay? So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I figured I might as well start back vlogging. I know I've missed quite a few days this week, but I've been sick. There's just been a lot going on. So um, I'm picking the camera back up today to take y'all with us to the zoo. You are the vine. And we are the branches. I can do nothing apart from you. The giver of life. In the elephants so usually we see speaking your words being able to listen I can do nothing apart from you you're my life 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 oh yeah you see it back there in the back Oh, 
on your head? No. These are too big to do that. They just fly around in here. There's no teacher there, but that's the teacher would sit at that desk up there. That's the state. He's walking pretty fast. He's getting his exercise in, I guess. See the ducks up there? You see the duck feet? They looked at you. You're my lifeline. You're my lifeline. You're my lifeline. All right, thank you. You're my lifeline. You're my lifeline. You're my lifeline. Hello. Goodbye. She disappears into the past. Oh, that's trash. 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 Oh, Hey y'all, it's still Saturday. We're back home from the zoo and I'm getting ready to clean up. But I got two packages, so I figured I would go ahead and open them with y'all. Um, so I actually am missing a package though because I knew I was getting something delivered today, but I wasn't gonna sit home and wait for it. And of course, for once they deliver earlier than what they said they were right and it was signature required and I couldn't pre-sign for it and I talked to the guy on my doorbell when he came but he wouldn't leave it <laughs> so that's really super annoying because I was very excited to get that but anyway I guess they'll try to re-deliver it on Monday anyway though I got these two packages All right, so this first box is from the brand Saltair, and if you watch my vlogs, you may have seen, I think a few weeks ago, I opened up a package from them. I did purchase this, by the way, but I ordered um, a couple things from them, and after trying those things out, I knew I wanted to go back and order this, too, because I was going to order this, um, this um, one item with that last order, but I was like, you know, Aisha, just do a little test run first before you just jump off the edge, so... Yeah, this is their body oil in Santal Bloom. And this is actually the first one from them that I wanted. So I'm not sure why I decided to order the other two instead of just ordering this one to begin with. But I mean, I really wanted the other two too, but this was like the first one that I wanted. I guess because maybe I was thinking it might be too floral, but I think it's supposed to be like a woody floral. So let's smell it. Okay, yeah, this smells good. See, I was looking for an oil that was slightly woody so that it'll go with a lot of different things but not doing too much. And I feel like this is going to be perfect. Um, it comes with these pumps, which are really handy. I just screwed it off so I could smell it. Um, that's what I did the first time. But yeah, I think yeah, I think this is going to work perfectly. It's slightly sweet woody. Um, the florals are not too much because that's what I was concerned about. So yeah, that is the first item. Very excited. And then to get free shipping, I ordered something else because if not, then basically the shipping would have been like the same price as this item. So I just went ahead and ordered this too. But this is the Exotic Pulp Skin Brightening Serum Body Wash. Now I will use this. This is the travel size. Um, I ordered a body wash from them last time, but I actually have not tried that one yet. So I'm hoping I like the formula. But I know I love the oil smell of this. So I knew I would love the smell of the um, body wash too. And I figured this would be a nice one to take on. Oh, that smells so good. It'll be a nice one to take on vacation because it's very like bright and uplifting and tropical smelling. Um, even though I don't have a vacation coming up until May probably. Um, but still, you know, it's not too early to get ready. So that's those two. They also sent in a free sample of a cleanser from the brand Prequel. So maybe that's their sister brand or something, but that's nice. And this other box here is from Scent Split. And these are a bunch of samples, but I don't think I'm going to smell them on this video just because, number one, uh, my cold is kind of kicking my butt right now. And so I don't feel like my nose can handle that. But also, I think I might like smell them 
like do a first impression sniff down <laughs> on either my TikTok or Instagram. I don't know. We'll see. Y'all will see the content somehow, but <laughs> I will. Oh, gosh, I hate these peanuts. I will share with y'all what I picked up. So, not really. Oh, these must be my samples here in this box. They sent me extra stuff too, though. That's nice. Um, so I ordered this. Um, I ordered this full bottle. It definitely looks smaller in person than it did online. But I did order this full bottle of Caramel Oud from Theodorus Calatinus. I actually got a sample of this from Lucky Scent with an order a few weeks ago. And so uh, when Scent Split sent me a coupon code, I went ahead and picked it up then. Not like it's that expensive, but I was kind of like, should I get it now? Because it's definitely more of a fall winter scent. But I feel like if I don't get it now, I'm gonna forget about it. And since I had the coupon code out, so I might as well get it. It's only like 50 something dollars to begin with. So very reasonable. This is my first full bottle from the brand. And I guess it's an indie or niche house, but the bottles feel well made. They're basic, but I'm okay with that for the price. But yeah, they feel well made. The sticker feels nice. And like the name suggests, it's Caramel Oud. Now, I have not full body worn this because I only had like a dabber sample, but I fell in love with the smell of it from there. So I'm not going to open and tell y'all about notes or anything because like I said, my nose is already bothering me. So we're not about to do that. So this is what I ordered. Uh, looks like I have some samples or some decants here that I ordered as well, but it looks like they also sent me some free samples, which is nice. So this is Layton by Parfums de Marley. This is a nail fragrance, it's very popular. So I'll give this to my husband. And then this is from the brand Maison Incense and it's Sheep Isley, which, um, yeah, I'll put this to the side so I can smell it later. So that's that. <clears throat> and then here are all the decants I ordered. So real quick, I'll show y'all. I'm gonna try to box this back up so that I can put that on my um, reel or, or TikTok. But the samples that I ordered, some of them I have smelled before and some of them I've never smelled before. So this first one is from Lorenzo Paziglia and this is called Summer Hammer. And all of these I picked up in a um, 5ml decant. So I don't really like buying decants that much because I feel like they're expensive. <laughs> but like I really wanted to try some new fragrances for y'all without like buying full bottles. And I felt like all these ones... Um, I feel like most of them would be great to take on vacation with me. So I don't use my decants a ton, but I feel like this would be a good way to test them. And if I end up taking them on vacation, they're like the perfect size. So this one is Summer Hammer. I don't remember the notes, but I think it's like a fruity tropical scent. And then this next one is the new release from BDK. This is 312 Saint Honor. I think that's how you pronounce it, but I'm really excited to try this. I think this is going to be like a nice everyday scent, but I did hear it being compared to Lo Papier from Diptyque, which I also really enjoy, and that is on my list to purchase for the spring summer, um, so we shall see. And then uh, this is Happy Dust by Narcotica. Now, I did get a uh, small Lucky Scent dabber of this, and I have to say, when I first tried it on paper... I was not feeling it like I felt like I couldn't smell anything but as it sat there I felt like I was able to smell it more so I went ahead and got a decant so I could really test this out and see if it's something that I'm going to add to my collection and then I also got um, Mango Nificent by Unique, Unique Luxury this I've been interested in since it came out this is supposed to be a mango scent but I think it has patchouli and some other darker notes in it so I've been interested in this since it came out but it's expensive and it gets very mixed reviews um, so I felt like this would be a nice one to try out in a decant and then this next one is Passe Swat, Passe Swat Extra and this is also from BDK. I have the original BDK Passe Soie, and so I was very interested in the X-Trade, but it's not one of those things that go on sale very often, and I just didn't know if it was gonna be different enough from the original for me to get this one. So that's why I got in the decant to try out before just, you know, blindly purchasing it. So very excited to try those. Hopefully my nose is feeling better by like tomorrow or something, because I'm very excited to play around with those. And I will list all of these in the description box. I do have an affiliate link for Sit Split. So I appreciate if y'all are going to order decants and you order from them. This was not sponsored, by the way. I paid for this stuff. But I'm just saying, if you order from Scent Split, Scent Split for decants, um, 
I always have them down in the description box. Um, so yeah, use my link if you so feel like it. So anyway, that's that. Um, I'm going to go drink some water and try to force myself to clean up. So I'll see y'all later.